you can run dbt commands as part of an orchestration pipeline in the data productivity cloud benefiting from the modularity and reusability of dbt models in this video we'll use the dbt core component to run dbt run and test commands as part of a data productivity cloud pipeline we'll be using the greenwave demo data pipeline which uses a transformation pipeline to calculate profit per account. But in this example, we're going to swap out part of the transformation pipeline and instead use a DBT model to run the transformations to calculate profit by account. The pipeline starts creating a table called customer accounts and load to this table with data from S3. Then we're running a transformation to generate the names of worksheets to extract data from. Then iterating over this list of worksheets in an Excel workbook. Then we'll run a transformation pipeline flattening data and converting data types. And we'll join all of these tables together and write them out to a new table called join customer accounts using the rewrite table component. Okay, now we've prepped all of our data, we're going to use the dbt core component to run a dbt model. This model is called profit by account and will calculate the profit for each customer account. And here is the model being used for the transformations. In the component properties under command, you can select the command type, in this case, run. Then after the run command, you can specify an individual model to run. For this example, it's our profit by account model. In the properties, you'll also need to define your dbt URL, as well as the branch and git folder path that contains your dbt project. Enter your git username and password, as well as defining any profile parameters required. For this example here, we've specified a schema. Now we'll run our pipeline. This will create two tables, our join data table, which will be created in the transformation pipeline and the profit by account table. After the pipeline has run, navigating to the task history, the dbt output can be found in the message field. We can expand the tasks to check if the dbt model has passed successfully, which you can see here that it has Refreshing our schema, we can see the two new created tables. Here is the data loaded to our target table, profit by account. Now we'll run a test against our table using another dbt core component, but this time using a test command which again is entered under the command property, as well as changing any other properties that you need to, such as git folder path, if required. In this example, this has been updated to the models path. And here is the testing model being used from a GitHub repo. Now we'll connect up these components to the rest of the pipeline and click run. The pipeline has run, and now again we can check the task history to see if it has passed the test successfully, which you can see here that it has. And that's how you run dbt commands in the Matillion Data Productivity Cloud. For more Data Productivity Cloud videos, please subscribe to the channel. And to get started with Matillion, visit matillion.com.